In this video, we will explain the operation of the TV studio lighting board and studio lights. To begin, uncover the lighting board and put the cover out of the way. Then turn on the lighting board with the power switch on the back. The board's computer will boot up. When it's ready to use, it'll look like this. Move the master fader all the way to the top. Determine which lights you will need by pushing the buttons under each light individually. The lights are identified by a letter and number, such as A4. The letters identify a dimmer box. There are four outlets in each dimmer box, one for each light, one through four. Turn the selected lights on by sliding the fader up. Make a note of all the lights you'll need for each scene. Use a light meter to determine the output of each light, and adjust them as needed. One hundred foot candles is a good place to start. Make sure the light stays off when the studio technician is working on it. The lights you have selected can be faded in or out together using the master fader. You can also use a submaster to operate a set of lights. Once the desired lighting setup is in place, you should now set up a submaster. To do so, push the record button on the function panel. A blinking green light indicates you are in record mode. Press the submaster channel you wish to program. The green light will go off. That submaster will now control all of the lights in that setup. You may program up to 24 submasters by repeating these steps and choosing a different submaster each time. Use the submasters to perform lighting changes as the director commands. When you are finished, move all faders to off. Switch the power off. Then cover the lighting board. That's it! When you can do all of these things without coaching, you will be qualified to operate the TV Studio Lighting Board.